And welcome to FA Cup quarterfinal replay action between St. George's Colts and defending champions Devonshire Cougars at BAA Field. What a match it was on Sunday. All deadlock 1-1. One, one. And uh, of the matches, this is the only replay. And we're officially underway. So we see Cougars quickly trying to get onto things here. A cool night. The winner of this particular match <coughs> will advance to take on PHC Zebras on February 27th. And now for the lineups for the two matches. The Cougars have made one change from Sunday. They brought in Josh Butterfield to replace Jesse Seymour, who was outstanding on Sunday at the Den. The lineup. <coughs> Ricardo Brangman, once again in goal. Big Kaiwan Franks, center back. Corvon Tucker in defense. Zico White in defense. Moses Steed, Kwame Steed, Tumani Steed, Jamie Smith, D'Amico Coddington, and Chris Casey. And instead of two men on the bench, they now have five men on the sideline. Lejean Simmons, Dimitri Daniels, Mark Steed, Mark Smith, and as stated, Jesse Seymour. The lineup for the East Enders, they've made four changes from Sunday. Unico Trot remains in goal. In defense, Ernest Signor, Jamal Warren, David Signor, Jazino Bassett in midfield, along with Jeru Hayward, Chase Simmons, Jerron Dickinson up front, Clay Darrow, Arande Bascom gets a start, as does Ernest Signor, and Jelani Collington. The uh, fourth change from Sunday was Rakai Brangman, who uh, is not in the lineup tonight. So we're approaching two minutes, and it's FA Cup quarterfinal replay action. Moses Steed goes to his right, looking for Coddington. Oh, his first touch a bit too much. Signor cleaning up. Knocks it long, gives it up again. Collington overlooks the field. Short ball to Simmons. Simmons inside to Bascom. Going to his left, but gives up possession. Brangman to the edge of the box, throws it out. His player coach, Kwame Steed. Going long now. Double teamed over there. The captain for the Cougars, Coddington, as Warren steps up to the plate, does the cleanup work. In other matches, quarterfinal matches on Sunday, a real thriller with St. David's Warriors doing extremely well, outscoring Wolves 5-3. It was PHC Zebras waiting until the 89th minute to eliminate Prospect United, Canton Jennings and Posse. And then the real surprise was the Southampton Rangers, who have been up and down all season in the top flight, eliminating the Dandy Town Hornets 1-0. This is the only replay of the quarterfinals. St. George's Colts against the reigning champions, the Devonshire Cougars. Cougars winning their first ever FA Cup. Last season. Just over four minutes completed and scoreless. Collington goes to his left, looking for Darrell. Franks, short ball over there to Josh Butterfield, who's playing in the right back position. Throw in Big Cats. <coughs> Butterfield down the line. 
Coddington turns. Signor watching him closely there. We have the Signor brothers and Ernest and David. Only one of them had played on Sunday, so we have both of them in action tonight. Corvon Tucker over the half line. Simmons is watching him closely. Inside to his player coach, Kwame Steele. Oh, misread there, but Cougars get a second chance. Warren plays it out short to Collington. This is interesting here. Casey lays it off to Kwame. There's the intended cross there, and Hayward gets a boot on it. Jeru Hayward. Tucker. Been known to overlap. Oh, gives it straight to Hayward. Hayward finding Darrell. And Casey comes up with it. Chris Casey Jr. Dickinson, no, oh, he gives it to Casey, to Coddington. Going through, skims off the head of Kwame there. And Unico Trot. Goal kick coming out for the East Enders, who are really having a great season under coach Richard Todd. Signor with the goal kick down the center. The whistle goes against White. To say that Zico White is also improved by leaps and bounds. Six and a half minutes down and scoreless. FA Cup quarterfinal replay action at BAA Field. The rules state that uh, after a tie or draw they have to replay within 48 hours and I'm sure St. George's didn't want to go back to the den and give the Cougars home field advantage Casey now Carlington chasing Casey goes back to Tucker inside 1-2 Tucker looking for holes there's the through ball Jamie Smith, he has one, takes a deflection, Signor quickly onto it. Throw in far side, Big Cats. See, excuse me, Butterfield. Franks. Sprays it out to his left to Tucker. Down the line. Kwame being pressured by Bassett. Oh, here's the Cougars. Oh, Moses. Wide of goal, off target. Some eight minutes down now. Should mention that the winner of this match will advance to take on PHC Zebras on February 27th in the first semifinal, while St. David's Warriors were drawn against Southampton Rangers, and that fixture will be played on March 20th. Bassett. Tucker again. Down the line. Jason is Tumani inside. Oh, Punching clear is Trot. Collington. Throw it. Some nine minutes down and scoreless. Comments from Kwame. Steed, the player coach for the Cougars, is that St. George's Colts psych themselves up whenever they meet. They've met three times thus far this season. St. George's winning 3-1 in the first outing. A 1-1 draw on January 16th. And of course on Sunday, FA Cup quarterfinal 1-1. So this is their fourth meeting of the season. St. George's 
leading overall with one win, and there have been two draws. Signor with a goal kick. Some 10 minutes down. Kovan Tucker finds a little room, gets, evades Collington. Oh, well done by Trot. Diving to his left. It's replacing Freddie Hall, who's overseas going through trials. And young Unico Trot has really stepped up to the plate. Brangman clears low. Simmons. Throw in Colts. Steed. Moses Steed inside. Looking for Jamie Smith. Warren going back to Signor. Oh, trying to find Bassett, but... Too much on that one. Throw in down the line. Tucker. Tumani. 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 Got to get this right here. I've been told it's a strange name there. Tumani. And I apologize if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, but I've been told it's Tumani, but I've heard others say Tumani. Signor heads it out. Casey tries to get it back into the thick of things. Whistle goes. Can Devonshire Cougars advance past St. George's Colts to reach the semifinals? Or can the EastEnders continue their Cinderella run? Cougars. Kwame Steen. Oh, Moses. As it's cleared, only as far as Tucker. Slips around Simmons. He's in the box. Warren comes in with a sliding tackle. It's still Tucker. Who's player coach? Ooh, he let that one slip away from him. As Shea Simmons gets a boot on it. Throw in, big cats. Approaching 13 minutes and scoreless. Also interesting to see the mayor of St. George's as Casey is fouled by Simmons. See the mayor of St. George's, Kenny Bascom, very much active with the football team. Free kick quickly taken by Casey. Kwame now. Casey. It's back to Franks inside to White. Chipping to his right to Butterfield, but it'll trickle over the line. Throw in. Another throw in. Referee for the night, Renew Can. Man in the middle on Sunday as well. Cooper's clearing. Warren to his left. Signor oh, he gives it up. Coddington now, back heels to Kwame. Oh, catches Smith off balance. Simmons now, short ball to Signor. Looking for Darrell, but Butterfield comes up with it now. Coddington again. Colts. Hey. 
Ernest Signor. With a goal kick. Approaching 15 minutes down. Cleared, long. One bounce in to goalkeeper Ricardo Brangman. Short ball to Kaiwan Franks. Goes to his right to Butterfield. White losing possession after a tackle and it came off the cult, so throw in. Joshua Butterfield. Casey strips Pascom. Butterfield chipping. Signor now Hayward. Oh, stripped by Jamie Smith. Turns it inside to Kwame. Bassett, some good defending by Bassett there. Jazino Bassett. Here's the corner. coming out for the East Enders. Sixteen and a half down. And here's the Cougars once again. Oh. Not against Hayward. Hayward now clearing and the whistle goes. Free kick, St. George's. Bascom. Tamani. Franks to Tucker. Inside to Kwame. Cougars content to play that possession ball. Building up. White now. Going through to Cuttington who finds Kwame. Here's the cross. Ooh. Moses. Steve lets one go from well outside the 18 yard box. No problem whatsoever to keep it trot. Eighteen minutes down now. Fans still trickling in here at BAA Field for this FA Cup quarterfinal replay. And you're watching all the action here on Bermuda's only 24-hour sports channel, Bermuda Sports Network. Free kick, Cougars. Chris Casey inside. Steed. To Steed. To Kwame. Tucker now overlapping. There's the low cross. Warren gets a boot on it. Bassett clears. Throw in Cougars. Quickly taken. Collington now. Jelani Collington. Goes well and knocks it against Kwame Steve, but the flag stays down. Cougars come up with it. Kwame inside. Casey, edge of the box. It takes a deflection, a corner.
Demico Carrington, the captain for the defending FA Cup champions, will do the honors. Left footed corner. Okay, Ozet. Steve at the edge of the box. Goal kick coming out for St. George's Colts. Twenty minutes down now. Cougars having the slight upper hand in the opening minutes. Here comes the Cougars once again. Bassett watches it go straight into the hands of his keeper, Unico Trot. Big boot. Clay Darrell slips around. Franks. There's the cross. Oh, nobody at the back post. Good cross there by Clay Darrell. Throw in St. George's. Dickinson. In fact, the signal loses possession to Coddington, and he's all short inside. And Ernest Signor came up with it. Now Bascom. To his right to Darrow. Back to goal. Oh, Corvan Tucker intercepts. Now, Jamie Smith. Bassett comes up with it. Simmons to Dickinson. Goes back. Hayward now. All the way back to Warren. Overlooks the field. The Big Cats gain possession. Oh, cut out nicely. Butterfield. In tonight, replacing Jesse Seymour. The only one change that the Cougars have made from Sunday. Smith goes to his right. Ah, looking for Coddington, but was cut out there. Throw in by Butterfield. Casey. Goes back to Franks. Who feeds it to Tucker, but Colts get a boot on it, but the big cats remain in possession. Franks. Short to Casey. Throw in. Jazino Bassett for Colts. Looking for Simmons. Whistle goes. Foul on Moses Steed. Inside to his coach, Kwame. Dumani, Collington, and it's 1 0 to Devonshire Cougars in the 24th minute of play. D'Amico Connington. The captain for the Cougars gives his team the lead. And the first goal in this FA Cup quarterfinal replay is scored by the defending champions, Devonshire Cougars, and their captain, Speedy D'Amico Coddington. So the Cougars take the lead. St. George is prepared to kick off. St. George's Colts with their never say die attitude on Sunday. Goals scored by Jamie Smith in the sixth minute. And then Clay Darrell equalizing in the 73rd minute 
We'll see what they can do tonight. Cougars out front. Unable to keep the ball in play. Tamani Steed. Goal kick for the East Enders. So the deadlock has been broken. Signor preparing to do the honors. Goes down the center. Up goes Bascom. Headed forward by Butterfield. Kwame Steed now. To Steed. Tumani. Oh, it takes a deflection off the back of Bassett. Bascom to Simmons. Oh, Cougars come up with it. And go all the way back to keeper Brangman. One time, straight up the field to Bassett. Kwame, the schemer in the midfield, sprays the ball about. White to Steed. Oh, the whistle goes as Tamani and Simmons tangle up. FA Cup action on BSN. Long ball. No problem for keeper Brangman. Cougars leading. One goal to nil. Thanks to a 24th minute strike from D'Amico Coddington. The whistle goes. We're in the 27th minute. Throw in Colts far side. Signor. Pass it. Just in front of us. Here's a chance. Oh. First touch is so important. Clay Darrell. Had an opportunity there. Bassett heads it up. Haywood is underneath. Jamie Smith is also there. Signor. Signor Brothers. Along with Warren. Controlling the Colts defense. Oh. Tucker, calmly and coolly, goes to his right to Butterfield. He has Kwame in front of him, D'Amico Coddington to his right. Goes down the line looking for Coddington, who turns it inside with a burst of speed and loses possession. Moses to Casey to Butterfield. Oh, the whistle goes, foul on. Jeru Hayward. Against Coddington. See a four man wall. This is some twenty five yards out. There's the kick. Oh, straight into the wall and cleared. Butterfield with the throw. Goes back to White, to Franks. Tucker. One nil. Devonshire Cougars leading St. George's Colts. We're in the 30th minute. Here's a chance for St. George's. Darrell. Oh. Unico White. Up for the challenge. Shut down Darrell quickly. Warren knocks it forward. Bassett loses it. Oh. Moses. Loses possession. Throw in East Anders. 
The whistle goes. Down the line. Looking for Collington. Go kick. As stated, the winner of this FA Cup quarterfinal replay will take on one of the most successful clubs in Bermuda, PHC Zebras, on February 27th in the first semifinal. Tucker now. Oh, he gives it straight to Simmons. Collington now. Simmons at the edge of the box. To his left, to a, a dummy from Bascom. Dickinson now. Oh, just over the top. So George is finally beginning to get some movement going in the attacking third. And they pick up, as that ball took a slight deflection, they pick up a corner. Their first corner of the half. Arande Bascom, outstanding footballer and cricketer, quite, quite versatile. He's the captain of the St. George's Cup match team, and he comes with a corner kick. All headed there by David Signor, but no problem whatsoever to the Cougars defense or keeper, Ricardo Brangman. Devonshire Cougars leading one goal to nil, by virtue of a 24th minute strike from D'Amico Coddington. We're now in the 32nd minute. Goal kick, big cats. Ricardo Brangman. On a cool Tuesday night at BAA Field. Signor. You can hear Herbie Bascom, the uncle of Arande Bascom. Excuse me, father of Arande Bascom. Bascom family, David, Andrew, Herbie, all talented in their own right. Throw in St. George's Colts, Bassett, Tuck, straight to Tucker. Now to Monty inside, Jamie Smith. Lays it back down to Kwame. Goes back to Tucker. To Kwame. Inside. Kwame at the edge. Oh. Not quite on the same page there. Trot. Brought down by Tucker. Who slips around Collington. Down the line. Chase Simmons is now chasing. Bassett is inside, he's in the box. A low cross and cleared. White heads it. Franks heads it forward. Haywood now comes up with it. Down the right flank. Where Cougars come up with it now. Army to Moses, to Casey. Casey over the half line. And a goal kick. Cuttington loses possession on the far side. Birth in the semifinals awaits the winner of this FA Cup quarterfinal replay.
free kick Colts. Signor down the line and not the best of free kicks there, but throw in Cougars. Josh Butterfield going back to Kaiwan Franks, turns it inside to Zico White. Cougars utilizing the full width of the pitch. Kwame. Tucker. It's one, two touches by Cougars. Casey is pressured by Dickinson. Again, Cougars content to knock it about. The intention of hopefully frustrating these standers. We're in the 36th minute. Devonshire Cougars won, St. George's Colts nil. All the action here on BSN, Bermuda Sports Network. Throw in Simmons now. S Moses Steed quickly on to him. Throw in. Darrell really has his hands full with Unico White and Kaiwan Franks. Switching from s the center to both sides, looking for weaknesses in the Cougars' defense. Bassett with a cross. At the back post is Jaron Dickinson with a shot. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. In the 37th minute, Jazino Bassett sent over a diagonal ball that found Jaron Dickinson, who finds a bit of room on the left side. And in the 37th minute, Jerron Dickinson with a left-footed shot completely beats goalkeeper Ricardo Brangman and it's all level 1-1 after 37 minutes of play the St. George's Colts are back on level terms in this FA Cup quarterfinal replay Steed and Smith kick off Casey now as he slips around Bascom. Oh, the whistle goes. As Casey is chopped there, and Simmons goes into the book. Yellow card for Simmons. Free kick. Cougars all headed out by Warren. Casey again. Goes to his left to the overlapper in Corvan Tucker. Crossing to the back post. Connington. Oh, a chance for Kwame Steed inside the six yard box. And a chance for the Cougars to take the lead once again. Goes a begging. Go kick St. George's Colts. 39 minutes down and all square, 1-1. One, one. Throw in St. George's. Free kick, excuse me, St. George's. Signor. Oh, it takes a deflection. And we can see just below us here is former goalkeeper for St. George's Colts, Gregory Smith. Outstanding goalkeeper in his day. Just below us, uh, slightly out of the picture. He's one of the officials now. It's so good to see some of the former players get involved with their clubs, officiating or assisting in some form or fashion. As it's a through ball for Darrell, but Franks shields Shields it for his keeper, Tucker now. Over the half line. 
exciting little player he is. It, there's the oh, it takes a deflection. Sliding tackle from Bassett. It goes back to Steed. There's the cross again. Hayward knocks it high. Up goes Warren, who heads it forward. Moses now looking for Kwame. But he get the cross in. It's low and cleared by Simmons. Franks to his right. Kwame oh, flicking it on. And it'll be a throw in Colts far side. Level 1-1. One, one. We're in the 41st minute. In the event that for some reason it's all tied after 90 minutes, it'll be extra time. Replays require extra time. And if still deadlock, penalty kicks or kicks from the penalty spot. Still in the first half of this FA Cup quarterfinal replay. Bassett going long. White and Brangman allow it to trickle over the line. Ricardo Brangman. Approaching. Completion of the first half. Only minutes away now. And it's St. George's Colts one, Devonshire Cougars one. Dickinson. Butterfield tries to clear. Tucker again. You've heard that name quite a bit already in the first half. Hayward now. Jamie Smith. Oronde Bascom. Oh, yeah. Darrow had started to run. Intended pass was for him, but it takes a deflection. St. George's Colts throw in. Jacino Bassett. We're in the 43rd minute and deadlock 1 1. Oh. Kwame Steed there, of an, oh, another effort, and here's Jazino again. Jaron Dickinson, a goal mouth scramble, and the whistle goes, it's coming out. Jaron Dickinson, really a danger man up there. Anything on that left side, he has a lethal left foot. Outstanding goal scorer in the first division, now in the Premier League. He's still finding the back of the net. Cottington. Signor pulls him down. Free kick, Big Cats. 44 minutes down. Oh, we're in the 44th minute of play. Chris Casey Jr. with the free kick. Into the box. Oh, Smith with a header. Once again, a goal kick for the Standers. Many moments away now from the halftime whistle. Can one of these teams step it up to try and take a lead into the dressing room? Whistle goes against Simmons. Foul on Kwame. Casey quickly on to it. Short pass down the left to who else but... The overlapper in Corvon Tucker. There's the cross headed out by Warren. Kwame Steed tries one. A day. Ooh, Jamie Smith at the back post. They resuming. And there's the halftime whistle. So after some 45 minutes of play, 
It's St. George's Colts 1, Devonshire Cougars 1. In the 24th minute, it was D'Amico Connington who gave the cup holders, FA Cup defending champions, the lead with a great shot. And in the 37th minute, Jerron Dickinson leveled the score with a lethal left foot. So after 45 minutes in this FA Cup quarterfinal replay, it's deadlock 1-1. 